بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم dear friends welcome to idea foundation forum consistency of the quran consistency of the quran is its great attribute being a divine book heavenly book in the previous lecture we focused on internal consistency of the quran in its continuation we will look at its external dimension today we will see how the quranic revelations happen to be precursors of emerging scientific discoveries what is precursors four tellers indicators so how successfully they could forecast chronic revelations how successfully they could forecast higher echelons of knowledge which came to human reach much later with intellectual evolution progressive learning and advanced research how far the predictions made by the quran came true with the passage of time precisely speaking how far the quranic knowledge is consistent with the emerging facts and with what degree of consistency it cater for the growing human needs of modern age and more so how effectively the man's accumulated knowledge about the universe and his own self has enlightened him to appreciate the truth of quran as the man was promised in ayat 53 of surah fussilat detailed outcome of the research carried out on these questions will be shared in many of the upcoming lectures however a brief overview a brief overview will be presented today dear friends let me share some verses whereby the mankind mankind global community not pakistani or asian global community was promised of intellectual enlightenment which will enable it understand the truth revealed in the quran ayat 174 of surah an-nisa says o mankind there has come to you a conclusive proof from your lord and we have sent down to you a clear light ayat 87 88 of surah sad say it is but a reminder to the worlds to the worlds past present and future the whole universe and you will surely know the truth of its information after a time with the passage of time ayat 53 of surah fussilat says as i referred in the outset we will show them to people we will show them our signs in the horizon in the universe and within themselves inside self until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth but is it not sufficient concerning your lord that he is over all things a witness so dear friends now let us see the emerging realities of the modern age and appraise assess their consistency with the quranic knowledge related to them philosophy of science is premised what is premised is based on the fundamental theorem basic principles that every effect has a cause behind this is a basic 
theorem of science that every effect is based on some cause but in the recent times science has found the most revolutionary theory in the domain of astrophysics called quantum singularity for the origin of the universe popularly known as the big bang without the first cause for the big bang or quantum singularity they couldn't find any first cause there is consensus among the physicists including stephen hawking and roger penrose that the universe initially started exploding exploding about 13.8 billion years ago from an incredibly hot dense single object of such an insignificant fraction of an inch called nothingness or quantum singularity in scientific terminology for this to happen despite persistent endeavor science has starkly absolutely failed to find the first cause and it had to accept it as an unknown phenomena and absurd assumption absurd assumption because they couldn't find the first cause which is the basis of the scientific principle consistent to this recent scientific finding the quran revealed the creation of the universe as manifestation of allah's great creative might requiring no cause in 1500 years ago let me quote a few verses here ayat 50 of surah al-qamar reveals instant execution of allah's will listen the words and our command allah is saying and our command is but one like a glance of the eye just glance of the eye ayat 82 of surah yasin also reveals allah's instant command and compliance immediate compliance the words are his command allah's command is only when he intends a thing when he intends a thing that he says to it be and it is no time no lapse ayat 24 of surah al hashr distinctly indicates allah's power to create invent and design what are the beautiful words he is god the creator the originator means inventor the shaper fashioner in arabic it is huwallahu alkhaliqul bariul musawwir likewise Ayat 117 of Surah Bakar clearly reveals the origination of the universe. The origination. Wadi us sama wadi wal arz wa iza kaza amran fa inna ma yakulu fa inna ma yakulu lahu kun fa yakun. Note the word wadi us sama wadi wal arz. originator of the universe and the earth when he decrees a matter he only says to it be and it is next is ayat 101 of surah al anam it links origination of the universe with unity of allah and his command note the words بَدِيءُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَنَّا يَكُونُ لَهُ وَلَدٌ وَلَمْ وَلَدٌ وَلَمْ تَكُنْ لَهُ صَاحِبًا وَخَلَقَ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ وَهُوَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٌ 
he is the originator of the heavens and the earth originator means when there was nothing from nothing to something he is originator of the heavens and the earth how could he have a son when he does not have a companion and he created all things and he is of all things knowing note the words badiyu samavadi wal arz badiyu badiyu means the originator it refers to creation of something when nothing resembling it existed linguistically bida means creation of materials previously not existing that is creation from nothingness as called by scientists nothingness or quantum singularity note the consistency of the quranic message with the modern science findings of the modern science dear friends science has acknowledged that despite its best efforts and extraordinary intellectual evolution in the recent past the man could discover only a tip of the iceberg of the universe so far of this little known universe only 4% comprises of cosmic phenomena of billions of galaxies and trillions of stars while the remaining 96% comprises of dark energy and dark matter unknown to man it tells how little of the universe is known while all the rest is yet unknown unseen to the man now just imagine consistency of the currently discovered data with the quranic information revealed in the primitive era of 6th and 7th centuries when it was impossible for a man to access such information this perfect consistency speaks of the quran being a divine book without a grain of doubt there are several verses witnessing such a great consistency please have a look on the screen i will share two of them here ayat 27 of surah luqman reveals immeasurability of the universe note the words and if whatever trees upon the earth were pens and the sea was ink replenished thereafter by seven more seas the words of allah would not be exhausted indeed allah is exalted in might and wise ayat 7 of surah a room reveals the little vision that the man has of the apparent outfit of matter while much of its inside and outside is beyond his perception the ayat says they only know they mean people we all they only know the outer surface of this present life and are heedless of the life to come ayat 3 and 4 of surah al mulk reveal the perfection of creation of the universe in the words and who created seven heavens in layers layer above layer above layer you do not see in the creation of the most merciful any inconsistency inconsistency so return your vision to the sky do you see any break then return your vision twice again again and again your vision will return to your humbled 
to you humbled while it is fatigued tired so my dear friends science has discovered that the earth is extremely small in comparison with the universe and it detached and it separated from the universe billions of years after the later's creation after the creation of the universe it is also found that water is the source of all life maybe animal life plant life human life let us see how the quranic information is consistent with the scientific data here ayat 5 of surah al mulk very precisely describes immensity of the universe vis-a-vis the earth by revealing that the milky way galaxy consisting of billions of stars as the neighborhood of the earth note the words of the ayat walakad zayyana samaa ad-dunya as-samaa ad-dunya misabiha and we have certainly beautified the earthly heaven with stars as sama ud duniya the heaven related with the earth as sama ud duniya ayat 30 of surah al anbiya reveals that earth was detached from the solar mass at much later stage note the words have those who disbelieved not considered that the heavens and the earth were a joint entity netted entity one entity and we separated them and made from water every living thing then will they not believe there are hundreds maybe thousands of such scientific discoveries which find their precursors indicators foretellers in the quranic revelations they are potent to lead for higher echelons of knowledge in all physical psychophysiological and spiritual domains it is challenge challenge of quran emerging realities and scientific data in various spheres have not only proved the divinity of the quran and truth of its predictions made 1500 years ago but also their consistency with the quranic knowledge have raised human motivation to explore the truth of the facts lying beneath their materiality as was promised in ayat 53 of surah fussilat which we discussed in the beginning such a mindset will lead the human to new vistas of intellectual and spiritual pursuits elevating his or her character personality to best serve the will of allah and progress of the mankind since addressee of the quran addressee to whom it is being addressed since addressee of the quran is the whole mankind i will invite the global community without distinction of religion and culture especially the western intelligentsia because of their intellectual pursuit and interest to explore to investigate with free mind the wisdom and great treasures of knowledge permeated in the verses of quran for the sake of material and intellectual progress of the humanity why to explore from the verses of quran for the intellectual and material progress of the humanity so my dear friends the matters we just mentioned will be discussed in detail in the upcoming lectures however before we conclude remarks of some prominent scholars made on the consistency of the quranic knowledge 
and the scientific findings will now be shared. Dr. Maurice Bukail of University of Paris, having deep knowledge of the Quran, concludes a totally objective examination of the Quran in the light of the modern knowledge leads us to recognize the agreement between the two. Means modern knowledge, modern sciences and the Quranic knowledge are consistent. Hartwig Hirschfeld, professor of Semitic languages at Jews College London remarks, we must not be surprised to find the Quran the fountainhead of the sciences fountainhead of the sciences. In this way, the Quran was responsible for marvelous development of all branches of science in the Muslim world. This again not only affected the Arabs, but also induced Jewish philosophers to treat metaphysical and religious questions after Arab methods. Just imagine, likewise, Christian scholasticism scholarship was fertilized, was fertilized by Arabian theosophy. Medieval astronomers in Europe were pupils of the Arabs. In the same manner, the Quran gave an impetus to medical studies. Next. Dr. Joe Simpson, Professor of Gynecology, Molecular and Human Genetics says, not only there is no conflict between genetics and religion, but in fact religion can guide science by adding revelation to some of the traditional scientific approaches that there exist statements in the Quran shown centuries later to be valid, which support knowledge in the Quran having been derived from God. It's the revelation. It is the divine truth. The next, Alfred Croner, professor of geosciences, University of Mainz, Germany, gives his opinion. Listen, I think he says, I think it is almost impossible that he means Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam could have known about things like the common origin of the universe because scientists have only found out within the last few years with very complicated and advanced technological methods. Somebody who did not know something about nuclear physics 1400 years ago could not be in a position to find out from his own mind, for instance, that the earth and the heavens had the same origin. They are the Western scholars, non-Muslim scholars, not, these are not my words, not of some mullah's words. Yoshide Kusan, director of Tokyo Observatory Japan remarks, listen, I am very much impressed by finding true astronomical facts in Quran. Modern astronomers have been studying very small piece of universe because by using telescopes, we can see only very few parts of the sky without thinking about the whole universe. So by reading Quran, I can find my future way for investigation of the universe. Tajatat Tajasan, professor of anatomy and embryology, Chiang Mai University, Thailand remarks, listen, I believe that everything mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago is true and can be proven by scientific methods. This must be by inspiration from God who knows all science. 
Thus I believe that this is the time to say there is no God but Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of Allah. Ali Salman Benoist, doctor of medicine France, he says, the essential and definite element of my conversion to Islam was the Quran. I began to study it. I began to study Quran before my conversion with the critical spirit of a Western intellectual. There are certain verses of this book, the Quran revealed more than 13 centuries ago, which teach exactly the same notions as the most modern scientific researchers do. It is the consistency of Quran with the modern sciences. So it's a divine book, not man written book. So dear friends, with this we conclude our discussion. For reference, today's lecture number is 209. Please subscribe Idea Foundation YouTube channel to watch videos of previous lectures. Their written versions are also available at website www.ideafoundation.com.pk Thank you friends for participation. Allah Hafiz.